Okay, in this video, we're going to jump right in and start downloading and installing Python. So if you already have Python installed on your computer, and there's a chance you already do, if this is not your first Python thing, I'm still going to recommend that you uninstall it and reinstall it. And I'll show you why in just a second. But to uninstall it on Windows, just go to your Windows Start menu, type in Control Panel, and this will pop up. Come down here to Uninstall a Program, click on it. Just scroll down here till you find Python and double click it to un uninstall it. So pretty simple. So to install this thing, let's go to Google and I'm just going to type in Python. And you can see the first thing here is python.org. So we'll go there. And this is the official Python website. So we want to go to downloads here. And here's the button for Windows. If you're on Mac or Linux, you'll see the Mac or Linux button. But notice we're on version 3.7.4. Now, if this version number changes by the time you watch this course, no big deal. Just download the latest one. As long as it's not like 4 and above, as long as it's below 4, you'll be fine. Uh, major version updates are like the first number, so from 3 to 4, from 2 to 3. If it's somewhere in 3, you're fine. So I'm going to go ahead and click here to download, and we can save this anywhere. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And I'm on Firefox, so my downloads appear up here on this little arrow. If you're on Chrome, they appear down here. Wherever it appears on your computer, just go ahead and click it when it finishes downloading. And it's a pretty small file, so it shouldn't take very long. So we just click this to install it. And here's the installation. Now, this is why I want you to uninstall it and reinstall it. See down here, it says Add Python 3.7 to Path. This is unchecked by default. And this is very important. We want to make sure that this is checked so that Python gets added to our path. And what that means is, on a Windows computer at least, that you can run Python from anywhere on your computer. You don't have to be in the Python directory in order to run it. If we click this little box, that's so. We can run Python anywhere. But by default, for some reason, it's un unchecked, and it, it drives me crazy why that is, because you always want to add Python to path. So make sure that's checked, and then come up here and just click uh, Install Now. And this doesn't take very long. And you'll notice it says 32-bit. Now, I'm on a 64-bit computer. Chances are you are too. Why are we downloading the 32-bit version? Why aren't we installing the 64-bit version? Well, the 32-bit version is the one you want. Uh, the 64-bit version is a little different, and there's some things in it that we don't really ever need or use but could cause problems. So just the standard default version is the 32-bit version. That's the correct version you want. That's the one everyone uses. So... Don't be like, oh, I've got a 64-bit computer. I need the 64-bit version of Python. No, you want the 32-bit. So, okay, setup was successful, and that's it. We are ready to go. It's just, uh, just that easy to install Python on Windows, and uh, very cool. So in the next video, we will start to look at and download and install the other tools that we're going to need, the text editor and the terminal, and that will be coming up in the next video.